I've installed many yard hydrants over the years and I've also installed them in a number of different ways. This happens to be my preferred method. Now, there's a few factors to keep in mind when installing a yard hydrant. The Woodford Y34 yard hydrant has been around for nearly 100 years and in my opinion there is no close second to the Woodford hydrant. The Woodford Y34 yard hydrants are the only hydrants that I use. We'll end up having a total of six of them on the property and they will all be installed this same way. The Woodford yard hydrant is galvanized both on the outside and the inside which is going to increase the life of the hydrant. I also love the reliable variable flow and locking mechanism that's built into every head. There are less expensive hydrants out there, but in my opinion, this is one place where it pays to spend the money. When using crimp fittings underground, they must be sealed from the elements. When I install a yard hydrant using crimp fittings, I don't want the hydrant itself sitting on the fittings. Now a piece of galvanized pipe or something that wouldn't break down with water could be used, but frankly it's going to take a very long time for this T-post to rust away. Now the idea behind the yard hydrant is that once it's closed off, the water that is inside the pipe has the ability to drain out and drain out fast. Having a proper amount of gravel around the drain valve at the bottom is where this starts. Stability and gravel are probably the two most important things. I've been called out on a number of jobs where somebody tied off a horse or a dog to a hydrant and the horse moved or spooked and the rest is history. So taking a little bit extra time to try and reinforce the hydrant goes a long way. By the way, the Woodford hydrant is also American made. I'm using galvanized tie wire to tie the hydrant off to the T-post. When tying off the hydrant to the T-post, I try to lift it off the ground just a tiny bit so the weight of the hydrant is not sitting on the PEX fittings. This is what's called a three foot berry hydrant. I put it a little bit deeper than it needs to be, but after the dirt settles, it should be perfect. Now the three foot berry depth is subject to the code in our area. We have about a 30 inch frost level. Woodford makes hydrants for just about any and all frost depths. On top of being well built from the cast iron head and handle assembly to the hot dip galvanized both inside and out to the brass valve, repair parts are available for all Woodford yard hydrants. They can be easily rebuilt when the time comes. Using the bucket and gravel method is just one way to keep the gravel from dissipating and soaking into the dirt. It's just my method. I've installed them other ways, but I like the bucket, sand, and gravel method along with a T-post. It's fast, it's easy. These are the first two of the six that I will install. I will install all of them the same way and I will use Woodford Y34 yard hydrant valves everywhere on our property.